Good morning, Britain. Nigel Farage accuses the government of a sellout. Amid reports, it's offered to pay a divorce bill to the EU of up to £50 billion. Pounds. Nowhere is safe as North Korea fires its highest missile yet. The United States warns it can hit everywhere in the world. After the engagement, the first royal walkabout, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are to visit Nottingham this Friday. And Manchester United closed the gap on rival City at the top of the Premier League, while poor old Spurs slumped to another thumping defeat. Happy day. Wednesday, 29th of November, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. They're going to have to change their chart from glory, glory Tottenham Hotspur to gory, gory Tottenham Hotspur, aren't they, this rate? Uh, anyway, my thoughts with all my Spurs fan uh, friends, and my father, indeed, lifelong Spurs fan, who's been a bit, little bit too cocky this season, and suddenly it's all gone... Uh, anyway, um, look at that for a front page. What a picture. In the Daily Mail That's today. Amazing, isn't that it? is an unbelievable picture. Meghan Markle, age 15, posing in front of Buckingham Palace with her friend, starry eyed, wondering, will I one day bag myself a prince? Will and she become she, a princess? And she's going to. And she's to. bagged herself a prince. Uh, and it could have been so different because it could have been yeah. after we found out yesterday that Piers had a 90-minute date with Meghan Markle, mm. probably on the same night that she went and had her first date with mm. Prince Harry and chose <laughs> Prince Harry instead. Uh, there is a commemorative mug of yeah. what might have been here yeah. uh, to commemorate the engagement of Piers Morgan and Ms. Meghan. This is a bit creepy. This is a bit odd. It's, it's all very creepy. Actually. Apologies to we Prince Harry and We have really disturbed people working at this programme. You know, they seem to. I mean, my, my poor wife has to look at this. I know. Today. Yeah. Right. It just have looks you... like a picture of you and Susanna, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it actually does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Work. You know what? Yeah. It actually, from a it distance, actually, from over yeah. here. It's really a bit of a subliminal thing because it does look a little <laughs> yeah. bit like Susanna. Oh, lovely couple. Yeah. And it, of course, yeah. we can easily get them adapted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a bit bleary eyed like I am this morning, that's exactly what it looks like. Did you like. sleep last night? Uh, I had literally three hours sleep last night, and oddly, I feel roaring, roaring and raging. How do oh, you explain no. that? And funnily enough, you said that you had a really good night's sleep on Sunday night and perhaps had too much yeah. sleep. Yes. So you're on better form when yes. you've had only three yes. hours. And in fact, when I ran a newspaper, a daily paper for 10 years, Did you? same thing. Did, were you if a I newspaper did, editor? Yeah, I was, yeah, very yeah. successful. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. do The Apprentice over in I, the States? I, I was a newspaper editor very successful for 10 Britain's years. Well, you're Britain's Got Talent. Once ever in The Apprentice. Uh, was in number one talent shows all around the world. And uh, on a date with Meghan and Markle. And dating Meghan Markle. Yeah, Brilliant. you're looking, <laughs> looking at one of the most successful people on God's earth. Um, so congratulations to the viewers uh, for listening to me now. Yeah, it's all come to this, unfortunately, but there we are. It's your Can't planet, Piers, and we're you? just in your orbit. I like to think so. Mm. Uh, it doesn't everyone have their own orbit? Which are, we're, we're talking about yes. this later, because we have a debate about whether the earth is flat or not. I know, I know, but we have got people who think it is. Including so, Freddie Flintoff, apparently. Your friend Freddie. Well, I think he was actually winding everybody up. It was a, a programme about conspiracy theories. So I think Fred was having a bit of fun. But I think, there were, well, there'll be a person on later who's not uh, seeing the funny side, does think the Earth is flat. A friend of um, Buzz Aldrin and um, an astronaut himself. Yes. Terry yeah. Burt. Well, they're two different people. The flat Earth is, isn't the astronaut. Yes, but we have an astronaut on who's going to confirm he's, that the, well, the, the, the world going to point is out that flat. They've actually orbited the Earth. Now, when you go around in the rocket, <laughs> round, it sort of gives you a bit of a clue, it's not flat, yeah. you know, because you're going in all... Anyway. But anyway, the flat we'll earther a... says there's not enough evidence. We also have Nigel Farage, um, who's <laughs> furious today, as he usually is. Um, and the other massive news, which we don't want to miss out on, no. is there's apparently going to be a decision today, according to The Times, that Ben Stokes and the Avon and Somerset police, that there'll be an announcement... Now, either it'll be that he's not going to be charged with any crime over that fight in the street, in which case he'd be free to play on the ashes, and God, we need him. Or it could be that he gets charged with a crime, but there's no trial until next year, in which case the England team have a rather difficult decision. Do they pick a guy? But anyway, he's flown out to New Zealand. That can't be coincidence. Well, except apparently he was going out to visit family, wasn't he? But uh, the <laughs> thought is, was he going out to acclimatise, <laughs> yeah. sign a few autographs, and then possibly play. Because the next test is on Saturday and we have to win. It's a must-win game. So, all of that in the programme. Uh, and the weather forecast. 
Yeah. It's going to be freezing, cold. right? It's, it's going to be colder tonight. So a lot of the papers yesterday were saying that uh, last night it was going to be minus 10, uh, but it's been down to around minus 3, so not as cold. It could be colder tonight, though, and it is a chilly start to the day all the same. Frosty in places. We've got an ice warning uh, again in place across Scotland, and there is the risk of more wintry showers across eastern and northern coasts as we head through the rest of today. More on all of this as we head through the programme. So a brilliant interview with the lady on the front of the mail next to Meghan, right? This is her mate. <clears throat> you see them there outside Buckingham Palace. The maid who it, didn't bag a prince. Well, it's fantastic because <laughs> she says, um, she was interviewed. She says, I'm not shocked at all, uh, said uh, Nanaki Pretty, her friend. It's like she's been planning this her whole life. She, gets, <gasps> she usually gets exactly what she wants. Harry has fallen for her play. She was always <gasps> oh, fascinated by the royal family. Shady. She wants to be Princess Diana Mark II. She will play her role ably, but my advice to him is to tread cautiously. Wow. Ooh. That's the friend. Well, is she just a little envious? Yeah. That having Does... sat outside Buckingham Palace, they hoping, hoping it would be her. Miss Pretty and, uh, and, and Meg, as she called her, Markle, met age two at kindergarten in Hollywood. They were inseparable, like sisters. She's now a jewellery designer, but clearly casting a slightly cynical eye.